Right, this one's a very rare record. It's uh, issued by, I think, the uh, uh, State of Indiana University, and it's about the uh, Hosier poet James Whitcomb Riley. Whitcomb Riley was a sort of Charles Dickens of Indiana, and uh, I'm going to give you a, uh, a track from this record in a second. But uh, the uh, readings are done by the uh, an interpretation of the poems of James Whitcomb Riley by George E. Davis, Professor Emeritus, Purdue University. That's the university in Indiana. And uh, yeah, George E. Davis, I, I don't know if you actually knew uh, Whitcomb Riley, you may have, but uh, he was a genuine uh, Indiana professor and uh, the leading expert on the subject of James Whitcomb Riley. That's the tracks on this record. I think there were two of them. One, the uh, the record I don't have has the uh, my favourite Wickham Riley's poems, uh, the Raggedy Man. But this one has got uh, Little Orphan Annie, which is a very popular poem, as, as I'm sure a lot of the uh, viewers will know. Enjoy. Come with me in your mind's eye to Mr. Riley's boyhood home in Greenfield, Indiana. On the right hand side of the hall downstairs there was a room that was known as the parlor. The one directly across was known as the sitting room. On back of that was the dining room and still on back of that the kitchen. Over the dining room was the boys room. The boys room had a very steep roof so that the walls were only three or four feet high. Back of one of these walls was a room known as the rafter room. Probably called the rafter room because the Rafters were so much in evidence. Boxes and chunks and things were stored in the rafter room. As the door stands open into that rafter room today, there hangs on the door two articles of a little boy's clothing, a little pair of pants, and a roundabout. Now, in case you don't know what a roundabout was, a roundabout was simply a little wasted buttoned on the top of the pants. Off the dining room was a little closet known as the cubby hole. It had a low door so that you had to stoop over to get into it. On each side of the fireplace there were two little closets that stood mantle high that accommodated brooms and other cleaning equipment. They were known as the chimney places. And then there was a piece of furniture that would compare with what you would know as a wardrobe and that was known as the press. So this now is Little off an Annie. Little off an Annie's come to our house to stay. To wash the cups and sauces up and brush the crumbs away and Show the chickens off the porch and dust the hearth and sweep and make the fire and bake the bread and earn a board and keep. And all us other children, when the supper things is done, we sit around the kitchen fire and have the most of fun of listening to the witch tales that Annie tells about. And the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. Once there was a little boy who wouldn't say his prayers. And when he went to bed at night away upstairs, his pappy heard him holler, and his mammy heard him bawl, and when they turned to give his down, he wasn't there at all. And they seat him in the rafter room, and cubby hole, and press, and seat him in the chimney flue, and everywhere's, I guess, but all they ever found was just his pants and roundabout. And the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. One time a little girl had always laugh and grin and make fun of everyone, all her blood and kin. And once when they was company and old folks was there, she mocked them and shocked them and said she didn't care. And this she kicked up her heels to turn and run and hide. They was two big black things standing by her side. And they sassed her through the ceiling before she knew what she's about. Goblins will get you if you don't watch out. Little orphan Annie says that when the blaze is blue and the lamp wick sputters and the wind goes woo, 
And you hear the crickets quit and the moon is gray and the lightning bugs and dew is all squinched away. You better mind your parents and your teachers fond and dear. And Cherry Sammet loves you and drive your orphans to you and help the poor and needy clusters all about or the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. Mm-hmm.